Hello and welcome to the show. You know, a lot of people ask me what's my idea of the perfect holiday and I have to admit that's constantly changing. A tropical climate, dazzling scenery and a dash of Asian hospitality amounts to about the right recipe. Add on some resort luxury and you've probably discovered a great place to stay. Let me show you what I mean. My destination was Thailand and my assignment was to explore the five resorts known as Laguna Phuket. Not a bad assignment really. Nestled on the island's northwest coast, the group of five-star hotels overlook the Andaman Sea, a view I could gaze at all day. We have a lot of beautiful beaches, small islands that you can take a short ride by boat. We have plenty of people around here and the food is great. And um, people here are mixed so you can see a lot of the different uh, cultures and traditions throughout the different festivals all year round. Laguna Phuket is built on what was once a tin mine creating an idyllic location out of a once barren landscape. The project consequently won several environmental awards. With five very different resorts to choose from, just about every holiday taste is catered for. At least that's what they told me and I was about to find out for myself. Because of the variety of the different hotels, we actually cater to a very large variety of guests as well. We literally get guests from from all over the world, although we're very strongly represented from guests out of, uh, out of Europe. But because of the uh, differences of, of the hotel, um, each person actually, uh, with his own liking, picks his own hotel. I began my exploration at the Sheraton Grand, the Laguna's biggest resort, known for its canal system and private jetty rooms. I then took a look through the Banyan Tree Resort, where I opted for a private pool villa. Not a tough decision, and then a visit to the spa. At the Dusit Laguna I wandered through a vast garden landscape, overlooked by traditional Thai timber architecture. The Laguna Beach Club was next on the list. Its biggest attraction is the never-ending pool, surrounded by stone murals and statues borrowed from Thai history.
The last stop was the Alamanda Resort, tall villas that resembled serviced apartments. Many are privately owned. The most interesting aspect of this combined resort complex was its integrated concept. It claims to be the first integrated resort in Asia. Integrated? So what do they mean by integrated? Well, the whole idea is that you can go to any resort in the group, use the restaurants or the facilities and sign it all to the one room account. We cover almost all outdoor sports that you can even mention. We either cover here on the grounds or just outside the grounds by, uh, by supporting facilities. So all in all, the guests actually walk away with uh, a very complete uh, uh, range, of, a range of facilities, which, uh, well, we, we, answer, we answer to them all. My biggest dilemma now, of course, is deciding which resort best suits me. That's always the trouble with too much choice. And in this environment, what do you do on a day off? What else? I'm happy. I have a shot of the day. You want to see it? Listen to it? Yeah. yeah. Like a, it's a par 3. I was not on the green. Right. It landed before the green, but for somehow it shouldn't, but it jumped up. It's onto the green. Wow. I made two par, I made a par. So Fantastic. Congratulations. I have my shot of the day. The modern courses are usually the facilities are excellent. Uh, many of them are country clubs and they've got you know, very nice um, bars and swimming pools and saunas even. And there's a spa attached to the, one, of the, one of the clubs here. So those facilities are excellent. Uh, the clubs are pretty well maintained. The grounds are pretty well maintained. Some of the courses are not as long as they might be in, say, Australia or Europe. Um, but the standard of uh, the courses generally here is very good indeed. 